the shore send you to our aid. The Queen warned us to wait until the end of the battle. Then you all spotted I us. I told you, the visions always come to pass. Ah, yes, but I told you not to. Do you have something for me? Uh, Queen Marwyn sent us to find this. That's how you ended up here. Reinforcements. Face my storm. It is another to make them our followers. It is a gift. We can use the weapon of the enemy against him. Yeah, I don't know if I'm comfortable with this. An orc army, he says. Working with Uruks, he says. Much rather kill them. Sedition and fear among the servants of Dark Lord was growing. He had become increasingly careful of the orchestrate and the devastating betrayals that would unravel his enemies. We gotta go back. I think I would get caught that easily. Uh-oh. Right. So we gotta try that again. A lot more carefully. Why is he? Why 
crazy gold. Okay. Where are you? I see him there. Oh. Thanks for giving me an easy access to this ledge. We should get a couple of rounds, then add a ride in. They go camp and beat slaves with them. I bet that would make a ride, man. <laughs> Let's we'll try going this way. Try to get to the archers. You smell blood around here. Uh, you're a Six more to go. Self brand. All right. Well, that didn't go as planned, but. Close by. Oh no 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 no! We're gonna get detected. We're gonna get detected. Phew. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa! No. Other way. Other way. Other way. Okay. Came across some strange traps. There we go. Not that again. They were made for. Oh crap! 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 Song two. Unless pigskins have grown a third leg, they weren't made by no men folk. Well, whatever, man. I'll kill it just Good to stop guy. you, Clot, from half an order about it. The other archer's gonna see me if I don't hide. When we march out of war, we'll hunt down what's left of the elves and slaughter every last one of them. That's patrolling. A day will come when nobody in this land even remembers them. From Harandor to Rovandia, <laughs> nothing but Uruk. Where were you when Dolgo? That sounds disgusting. That our stunt grog as usual. That's where. All right, one more. Someone needs to raise a stink about a little killer. Okay. Paid out the boss rations out of the problem. He's just following orders from the war chiefs. It's them what's got all the grog. I heard they keep it stashed in a cave somewhere up in the Ash Mountains. Kill now. Treasury. 
<laughs> Treachery is right. Lot of you, isn't there? Ah, uh, I missed. Still, some of you here. Let me get personal. All right. an ability point and we got some attributes we can get should we get more elf shots we can get flame of ascor charges power with ranged kills while in range mode hold lt press to enable 15 seconds of unlimited elf shots Ooh. shadow ahron charge power with stealth kills while in stealth mode hold rt to disappear for 20 seconds Ooh. okay I kind of want to try that out. Hold on, there's still upgrades we gotta get. Let's see here. Wraith Burn. Dispatch. Just kill all branded Uruks and monsters. Is that. We want to do that? Why? Why would we want to do that? I guess the brands. How temporary is the brands? Striking X enemies with glowing double damage. Double charge. Yes, this sounds fun. I can do two executions. Do I still have enough for more attributes? I'll take the dagger rune slot. She got our runes. Slots increases the morale effect of enemies when they witness a captain die. Ten percent chance to stun enemies near a throwing dagger or brace daggers hit. Increased knockdown chance of throwing daggers or brace daggers. Assisting more chance to recover fifty health for each strain. Stinging Blade, recover 50% health on a stealth kill. Ooh, I like that. For a plus 4 health shot for combat brand. Brutalized stealth kills cause additional terror. Recover all focus and all health for killing a captain or chief. Recover plus 4 health shot for each strainer brand. Interesting. 4% chance. Work school. So we're going to ignite. Lure of power. Chance any enemy near a stealth brand target will also be branded. Oh, interesting. Choking horror. Choking horror. Two or something for let's go. We can just probably scrap these, right? There's multiple of these. There's multiple of these. 50% focus. 61% focus. A head explosion kill. Was a head explosion? So not just like a headshot. Hmm. I don't know if I want that to death. Recover 58% focus for grab shank kills. 73% eh. chance to recover 25% self on a head explosion kill. That's the same thing, but weaker. This is the same thing, but weaker. Increase knockdown chance, 50% health on stealth kill. I if, I, if I have damage, I don't think a stealth kill is going to help me. But this sounds fun. Good to chip that tape. 
chance any enemy near a stealth brat. How near? What do we have right now? Yeah, see, I can... Above. Okay. Huh. okay. I'll take this one. Blue level. The power of a captain determines the level of the rune he drops. Killing captain. Oh, okay. Uh. Wait, killing captain. So if I kill captain a certain way, I didn't read it. What did I want to change out? This one. With the stealth kill. There we go. One with nature, no poison, stealth kill, and gravity section do extra damage. Let me change this out. I don't mind changing this out for something better. Cover four elf shots. Why not? Okay. Let's see what you guys have. You can scrap any unneeded runes. to recover for us on a trainer brand. Oh, we don't need this because we're already getting something like that from the dagger. Let's change our broken mind with something else. All weapon damage increased by 3 percent while widening a monster. Focus after immobilizing an enemy with the pin in place ability. Oh, I forgot about that ability. On a headshot kill, I kind of like that. Reduced focus depletion. Reset stop damage. I, I like that. 41% chance to recover 30 focus on a headshot kill. Power of the Earth. More vengeance we can get rid of. These duplicates. I wish I could just mark them and get them all at the same time. Increase the terror caused by execution kills. Recover all focus and elf shot on last chance success. Ooh. Increase hit streak reset time plus 10 seconds. Oh. Let's reduce melee received. Never surrenders. You get an additional last chance. Grant access to storm. Chance critical hits with the sword will ignite. Yeah, I think at some point we'll get the rising storm ability and then we can take off the room. Place it would probably the increase hit streak reset time. We have appendices. Ghoul matrons. These toxin spitting ghouls are taller than their brethren, growing up to nine feet tall. Their size is used primarily to bully and intimidate lesser ghouls in submission. They serve as the high leaders for their kind. They also create blood and living flesh to an extent not seen with other ghouls. They are constantly driving their minions out of the safety of their disgusting underground lairs, commanding them forth in mass assaults for fresh meat. Great beast. Whoa! A 
monster of his strength and size can, without reservation, be referred to as a great beast. This is the cousin to the Muma Kill. These enormous quadrupeds can grow to 30 feet tall and make unrivaled beasts of burden for the Dark Lord's armies. They are powerful enough that no creature, except perhaps for a Grog or a huge Karagor pack, can hope to bring them down. In the coming... Really? I don't know if the Grog could pull this. This is huge. In the coming war, they will prove invaluable to the Dark Lord's growing armies as both transport and a weapon. Can I brand them? Because that'd be cool. Afflin. The never fade Afflin's remarkable durable plant with a year long life cycle. In bloom, it produces a brilliant golden yellow bell shaped flower that loses its that loses either its color that loses neither its color nor its petals for the duration of its life. Alpharine's nectar is delightful and said to attract bees of for miles. Whether it is also prized further is also prized by elves and hobbits because it can be made into a fine, delicious syrup that is said to promote vigor and robust health. Some eschew the eating of the syrup and instead use it medicine medicinally as it can be applied to wounds to aid in healing and eliminating scars. Oh, it's scar syrup. Othellus. The ancient Numer Numer Numenorians were enamored by the king's foil, or Atalus, and its presence in Mordor is no longer a great mystery. The Numer Numenorians brought it with them when they assaulted Bra Baradur as part of the War of the Last Alliance in Middle Earth Second Age. The blue flower plant is thrived in the continent ever since, and it's now employed by remedy makers in a variety of therapeutic potions. More importantly, the commoner can use Atalus without any knowledge of herbal lore by chewing the flower petals to create a numbing agent to apply to sore muscles or wounds. A little more, a little more knowledgeable. Oh. Looks like someone needs our help. What? Did not see you there. You call whoever you want. I'm out of here. Oh, yeah. Double strike. Aha. Both of you go down. How dare you get in my way? I will do no such thing. So satisfying. Stop I just wanted some intel. That's all. Kill the incel by accident? Shit, my bad. Didn't mean to. Oh, herb. Both for my health and for my survival challenge. Actually, I don't need any of those. Just 
just the red and green. Oh, Intel. Crap. I wonder, can I brand you guys in the middle of combat? Mine now. You guys can take care of them. I'm out of here. Oh, what's this? Squealer or talk? I don't think I've finished off all his boys yet. Yeah, there's still these two. people to save. I don't even think I need to. Nope, oh, you're gone. All at once now. <laughs> Sorry, I meant to grab you first. Okay, there's still some black figures. Snagog. I know a Snagog. Oh, hi. Oh, no, you don't. You're also gonna tell me something. And that something is who is Mystery Guy number 27? Bagabog. How about those headshots? now follow my will 
Sorry about that. Oh wow, we're not in an area we know. What do we have here? All right, we need to head back. Uh, but I guess before we do, let's unlock. Let's find out what more about this area. He's just so ugly. I can't believe a creature so foul could exist. Here. Who's that? Snog. Oh, Snagog, I just learned about you. Unfortunately, we don't have intel on what you're weak to. But the fun is finding out. How that counts as a range attack. Impress me, I might let you live and serve in the pits for our entertainment. I already fought in the pits. Finisher so much. Oh crap. Not this time, Stogog. Not this time. You already tried one. Hold him down and I'll carve him up for supper. Fine. Ah. But it'll work 
on them. You are annoying. Crap, I gotta go. This is not this is not good. The slaves. Goddamn slaves, why'd you have to run this way? Huh? Ah, so that's what you're weak to, huh? Huh? my hand. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to kill you. Come here. I'm gonna dominate you. Alright, who do we want intel on? Oh, where are you gonna tell on him? Ah, him. Out. 
doesn't sound good. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Don't mind me. Yeah, fight them off. Aha, made it. Where are you now? Aha! Whoa. Nor Eduaf. Dark Lord Sauron claims Middle Earth as his rightful dominion. Only he has the power to bring order and halt the steady decline of this world since it was abandoned by the Valar. To preserve the world, he convinced the Elf Lord Celebrimbor to work with him on the Rings of Power before forging the One Ring as a master of all the others. He was betrayed when uh, Celebrimbor forged three elven rings in secret. In his rage, he dragged Celebrimbor back to Mordor to make him reveal the location of these three and perfect the one, only to be betrayed again. Recently, he has been defeated by the White Council and Dol Guldor and driven back to Mordor, but he is determined that this shall be his final defeat. From here in Mordor, he will forge his strength to conquer Middle-earth. There are none with the power to oppose him. Elves, man. I swear. No ability points, but attributes. Okay, let's take another sword slot. Focus on any last success. Oh, I'll focus on any last chance success. Chris's hit streak, yes. Chris the hit streak. Wait, there's more? Oh. It's my level three is my level nine. Oh, let's get rid of level three. Unless we have any appendices. Tribesmen of Nern. The tribesmen are descending from Corsairs, or descended from Corsairs, who settled the Sea of Nern following Gondor's retreat hundreds of years before. As time passed, they gave up raiding and settled down to fish the sea and farm the land. However, they never gave up their warrior traditions, and when the Uruks came, the people of Nern were able to put up a fierce resistance. Let's see. Now we should probably head back. Over there. Let me, let me mark it. Alright, finally go back. Let's see the queen. That's starting this orc army. 